How to get more patients is a question that every clinician in private practice has asked themselves at some point or another. Am I right? And it's something we've been working on a lot in the Private Practice Ninja Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine Smith at Private Practice Ninja. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why it's really important, first of all, before you decide I'm going to get some more patients, is to understand where your patients are truly coming from now. Can you answer that question? Has that changed recently? And I'm willing to bet that you're a lot like a lot of other people in private practice, where maybe you can sort of pull down a few stats from your practice management system and you kind of got a gut feel about who your best referrers are, but you're not really sure, and you're probably really not sure about how people find you on the internet. So I want you to do a proper audit of where your patients are coming from. And by that, I mean really understanding how they find you. Because here's the problem. If you don't know where they are currently coming from, you can't fix those problems when stuff starts to dry up. And even if you think you have a handle on where your patients are coming from, would you really notice if you weren't measuring carefully, if some referrals started to dip off, or if you'd noticed that people who used to be coming to see you because they heard about something you wrote or something you vlogged about are no longer turning up? So it's very, very important to get granular with understanding about where your patients are truly coming from. Let me give you a couple of examples that illustrates this situation. So you or your medsec might ask a patient, how did you come to find us? And they may say, hmm, my GP referred me. Now, is it that that GP is somebody you have a really close working relationship with, that they can phone you anytime and say, I've got this patient for you, can you fix the problem? Or are they a GP that the patients visited purely to get that insurance document rubber stamped? So if you don't ask specifically, you won't really know. And just as an aside, the kind of days of turning up to give GP talks are probably over for most clinicians in private practice. Yes, you can definitely form some good referral relationships with GPs, but please don't spend all your time setting up GP practice talks. You're probably gonna find it doesn't yield much dividends. So, where should you be putting your hard work and effort? Well, you might be thinking quite rightly, I need to be out there on the internet. So the second scenario is you ask the patient, mm, how did you find me? And they said, oh, I looked you up on Google. So what does that mean? They found you on the web, they knew your name and they had to find out where your clinic was, or was it that they read a really interesting article or blog? If so, fantastic, what was it? And very importantly, what was it about that blog or vlog that resonated with the patient? So don't stop when the patient says, I found you on the internet. You need to understand much more about how and why they found you. And then finally, the big juicy stuff is all that stuff to do with the internet. Or were they looking for some advice about that Achilles problem? So they put, how do you treat Achilles problems into the internet Google search? And your blog page came up and they thought, oh, this person looks a bit good. I need to go and see them. And then the big issue for a lot of people is that they say, I do social media, but I don't really know if it works. Now, this is something else we can talk about another time, but it's perfectly possible to track your social media posts, taking the person to the website page and then booking in with you. You can do it using what we call UTM codes. So if you make an audit of where your patients are coming from now, chances are it's changed since COVID. In fact, we got people to do this within our Ninja Academy, and one of our Academy members was really surprised in that her web traffic had to go up because the number of referrals she was getting from surgeons dropped because they weren't doing surgery. And guess what? She now gets to benefit from both. The surgeons are back operating, and she's got more patients finding her through the web. So if you'd like help with figuring out how to audit where your patients are coming from, or how to most importantly get more patients into clinic, why don't you consider joining the Private Practice Ninja Academy? I'm Dr. Cass Spencer-Smith at Private Practice Ninja, and I'll see you next time.